This ghetto and low budget production is brought to you by Omaze. Hello, my name is Sam, and I've been living out of my pickup truck for the last 26 months. Things are starting to return back to normal at work. For a while, people were afraid to call 911 because they assumed all the firefighters were diseased and contagious. But it appears these fears have subsided, and once again, we are receiving calls for left-sided toe pain or irregular bowel movements. Outside of work, I have found myself both bored as well as stressed, and this has caused me to eat far too many 7-Eleven taquitos and drink way too many IPAs. The results of this self-destructive behavior are starting to show, and now when I look down, my gut blocks my view of my phallus. So this is something I'm looking to address ASAP, and I'm going to be starting a health kick. On top of my quest to once again be able to see my lower unit, I'm also taking the time to celebrate LGBTQIA Pride Month. I must admit, I love the name, it just rolls right off the tongue. I was going to go cruise to San Francisco and participate in the Pride Parade, but once again, the flu has ruined everything and they've canceled the event. So instead, I'm taking the time to self-educate myself. I've taken in a lot of documentaries, I've watched Brokeback Mountain at least five times, and I've been reading lots of literature. One common theme I've found is the references to bears and Twinkies. Bears are one of my favorite animals, and as far as Twinkies go, I just can't get enough of them. So this is definitely a movement I think I can get behind. In this video today, I will be showing you just random things I've been doing while living out of my vehicle. But first, this message. Would you like a Dodge Ram 1500, an Airstream Flying Caravel, and $20,000? Well, if this tantalizing offer tickles your fancy, then head on over to omaze.com forward slash THF Donate $10 and you're entered for a chance to win. This is the ultimate travel setup. And the nice thing about the Airstream is the fact that it can sleep up to four people. So feel free to invite your mother or your girlfriend. Perhaps your mother is your girlfriend, which if that's the case, that's slightly odd, but I'm not here to judge. The most important part is to get out and explore the world with those that you care about. Every donation helps the charity called First Descents which provides life-changing outdoor adventures for young adults suffering from cancer and other serious illnesses. So to potentially win a Dodge Ram 1500 as well as an Airstream Caravel and to support a good cause, go to omaze.com forward slash THF. I do have some very exciting news. My groin expanding device has come in the mail and this is gonna help facilitate my goal of one day being able to do the splits. I'm not sure of the exact name of this device, so I've just been calling it my crotch cranker. I also went out and I purchased a pair of yoga pants. I was gonna wear these today, but I don't want my video getting flagged on YouTube for excessive camel toe. So for now, you'll just have to use your imagination. The way this thing works is you spread these bad boys out. You then put your feet on each side. The center handle here, you give a little tug. I believe the eventual goal is to be able to sit on top of this, but as you can see, I am far from that. I just apply a little bit of pressure until it feels like my crotch is about to explode, and then I'll sit here for three to five minutes. One nice thing about our world being put on pause is the fact that the Summer Olympics have been pushed back one year. This allows me more time to train and hopefully be selected by my country. I don't think basketball is an option and unless I have some type of flotation device, I doubt I'll do swimming. But there is a new sport in the Olympics and it's called break dancing and it has caught my attention. I don't have a lot of dancing experience the last time I gyrated my hips was at my senior prom. 
I only had one move and it was this kind of dry humping, grinding motion. Break dancing originated on the streets, so to be true to its roots, I always practice in the Walmart parking lot. On the ground, you're gonna bend both knees and place your weight in the middle. You're gonna step back off, bring it together. You can do exactly the same, but with the left foot, step. Gotta get that power step going. It's key to all this. Okay, this is so I was cruising around Sacramento and I found something rather disturbing. And I will admit, I was triggered. I came across a statue of a grizzly bear. As I mentioned earlier, bears are some of my favorite animals, but there is an exception and that's the grizzly. Ever since America's founding, the grizzly has been raging a homicidal war against a marginalized group known as the salmon. Why Californians would choose to erect a statue of such a demonic beast is beyond me. But I'm gonna end grizzly supremacy. I have my throwing ax and a lasso and I'm gonna bring this mother down. He's trying to sit here looking all innocent, but he knows exactly what he's done. Go to hell, you evil bastard. A couple of weeks ago, there was a lot of peaceful looting going on in California. During that time, I tried my best to avoid the cities because my mobile home is basically a moving target for looters. From my front door window, you can easily look in and see my cassette player. It's a valuable item and I need to be able to protect it. So I decided to upgrade my armory. For the last two years, my main weapon has been a handcrafted spear with hot dogs on it. On the open battlefield, it's a great weapon, but when I get in the small confines of a room like this, it's too large and cumbersome to be effective. To address this issue, I made a wooden shank. This thing's great, it's small and compact. I can keep it in my glove box or underneath my seat. It's perfect for like close quarter, hand-to-hand -hand type of combat. If someone were to breach my walls at this very moment, the first thing I do obviously is grab my surgical mask and put this on because I doubt there's gonna be any social distancing going on. During my two plus years of living out of my vehicle, I was fortunate enough to urinate into multiple bottles and containers. And at this point, I can pretty confidently say that my go-to choice is the kombucha bottle, more specifically, the lemonade flavor. The reason I recommend going with the lemonade is because if your friends or your significant other finds your pee bottles, you can simply tell them that it's kombucha lemonade. The color is very similar to the urine output of someone who is dehydrated, hungover, or perhaps is experiencing a UTI. The bottle itself is also fantastic. It has great craftsmanship. It's a wide mouth bottle, so whether you're working with a pencil or a tuna can, you should be able to establish an effective stream inside of here. If I'm in town, I have to be very careful when urinating into bottles because I don't want to get caught and put on a sexual predators list. I think my employer may have an issue with this. So my go-to move is to open up my doors. I'll then go to the back seat and pretend I'm intently looking for something. All the while, I'm actually just getting down to business. Stores and businesses are once again starting to open up and the two biggest things to return to my life are the gym as well as campgrounds. The gym's huge because now I could once again get a proper pump session, but more importantly, I now have access to a shower whenever I want it. This afternoon, I'm heading up to the El Dorado National Forest. I'm going to meet up with some buddies and camp out for the evening. staring at many scenarios that end in some kind of civil war. In one mile, the destination is on your right. Stumpy Meadows Campground. Here, right. all the time, the same thing. I mean, 
Paul Kleins is a town. I've been living rent free now for 26 months, but I believe my homeless journey will soon be coming to an end. Come September, I'm planning on moving into an apartment with some friends. I do have enough money saved up where I could put a down payment on a house, but things seem to be a little bit crazy in the world right now, and I'd rather see how things shake out. Plus, I don't know where I want to buy, whether it be in the woods or in the city. There's a lot of things to think about, but for the time being, I will continue living day by day out of my mobile shagging wagon. Thanks again to Omaze for sponsoring my video.